Okay, uh, I made some YouTube videos with a 7.3 gasser that I used to have. I sold it because the market was really good and I didn't really need it, I guess. And uh, turns out a lot of people were really interested in seeing how that truck would handle um, tough, rigorous work. So, uh, per request, I bought another one. I bought uh, this one today, 21. It's got 10,000 miles on it. It was actually a customer of mine's truck. And he bought another one with a 7.3. So uh, I bought this one from the dealer that he traded in at. I know where it's been its whole life. It started life pulling skid steer trailers. Um, you know, it's already been, been it's been life pulling. Uh, it's already got the BMW gooseneck hitch in it. So it's ready to go to work. Um, so yeah, it's got 373s in it. Um, the whole 373 rear end gears, 10 speed, 73, same, same deal. It's the last truck was 355s. But um, anyways, I bought this truck my my uh what i'm going to do is i'm giving it to my brother-in-law he's uh he he's kind of a hot kind of drives like hot shot stuff kind of but he does um livestock he hauls a 30 pulls a 30 foot gooseneck every day uh hauls dairy cows all around this colorado area he he averages five to seven thousand miles a month um he's a super guy and he puts everybody else before himself uh so you know i kind of wanted to do something for him because his trucks are you got an 03 Dodge, it's getting close to 450,000, and uh, an 0173 he bought not that long ago. It's only got 200,000 on it, but it's it's a little rough around the edges. Um, but nonetheless, he spends all day, six days a week in those trucks. Um, he doesn't know I'm doing this, uh, so we kind of cool it to do that for him. He's just a super good guy. Um, but anyways, the cool part about that is he's going to crank out these miles for me. I'm going to, he keeps meticulous fuel uh, fuel mileage logs as well as we'll, um, obviously have the ECM reports stuff like that. We're going to do oil samples at every oil change, and we'll do all the maintenance on this truck, um, and, and kind of be able to show you what this truck does on well, pretty much an oil change a month is almost what he's doing. So at least at, at least every every oil change, I'll make a video um, with oil sample data, um, kind of how everything's looking, um, how this truck handles. You know that that 350 mile a day average with a trailer that's every day this thing's gonna be hooked to a trailer um so yeah we'll be able to hit a, a really a, a neat um dynamic of how this truck could uh how it will perform in the work world um and see how it handles what you know uh, i send those off, send my oil samples off to caterpillar they will be able to tell me anything that's in that oil any bearing material anything like that if get goofy because a lot of people claim um you know that they can't handle the hard work like the diesel can. Um, my big long-term goal for this is to have the first one of these to 200,000 that we can do a review on and check uh, uh, cylinder cross hatches and stuff like that. Um, we'll be doing things like that along the way, anyways. But um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. A little bit about the truck. It's a base model. Nothing crazy. Uh, pretty nice truck though to ride in, and um, yeah. Got uh, 10,000, 28 miles on it right now. It's the first video I'm making of it. Um, but yeah, I'm <coughs> gonna uh, give it to my brother-in-law tomorrow. And uh, I don't, he doesn't run tomorrow. He'll be back at it, I think, probably Christmas Eve and, and uh, Christmas Day. So it'll be a, a cool deal to do for him. I'm pretty excited to be able to, to give this to him. So uh, stay updated to help me uh, hopefully uh, make this pay off good. and and uh and be able to do something good for a good good person so anyways that's what we got going on um yeah i'll do a, a video update about uh about um what he does we'll do kind of a ride along with him one day um and show you what this truck will be doing every day uh, i'm also going to do a couple heavy tow videos with it um too just to show you you know i got a couple of Go a good mountain hills. We'll hook a trailer on and see how it compares to the 355 rear end. And uh, yeah, so kind of keep an eye out for these videos. I'm gonna um, really do my best to, you know, you know, Ford doesn't pay me anything, but I'm, I'm really promoting this platform mostly because I see so many people get into diesels and just get taken for a ride um, in, when it comes to repairs. They have their place. I, you know, I'm not like uh, I. Um, uh, I'm not anti-diesel. I mean, that's my six liter over there. Um, you know, I run that thing every day. I've had many diesels. Had, uh, I've had, I've had every. Well, I've never owned a Duramax. But anyways, 
Cummins, Fords, had them deleted, non-deleted. Um, so yeah, but nonetheless, they're all expensive and they're getting out of hand. So I want to show people that, hey, this is a good viable option. Here's what it looks like for a work truck platform. Um, and this is how it'll handle itself over, over a good while of strenuous work. So uh, kind of stay tuned and, and uh, I guess subscribe. Then we'll put a, put a video up pretty often about this thing, doing updates and, and fuel mileage updates. And uh, yeah, we should have, I'm hoping to have another, uh, you know, 20,000 miles on it in no time flat. So we'll, we'll keep updating it. So thanks for watching.